Sound Design. Yeah. So this is the third video in getting started with Phase Invaders. Pew, 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 pew. In the first two, we talked about zooming in and the coherence blinking threshold. So now I have a nice clear picture of where my crossover region is. So I'm gonna zoom in here because in this video, I wanna introduce you to the two controls we have here to make changes, which are delay and polarity. So the delay slider starts at zero milliseconds, zero feet, zero meters here. And um, these numbers on the left and right here just signify how far you can go. So you can slide this all the way to negative 20 milliseconds or all the way to positive 20 milliseconds. And double clicking it will take it back to the center at zero. So you think about this as the delay in your DSP, but you don't have negative delay in your DSP. So another way to think about this is just physically moving the speaker. So moving the slider to the right would be adding delay or pushing the speaker away from you and sliding it to the left would be taking delay away or moving it closer to you in relation to the main. Now as you move this slider, you'll see corresponding changes on the phase and magnitude graph. So if I add a little bit of delay, my sub trace here starts to bend down and become more steep, and it changes in its relationship to the main trace, and because of that, the result is a change in my summation trace here and its relationship to the target, and therefore the score. So you can see that as I add delay, and the blue trace moves closer to being aligned with the red trace, my pink trace also moves closer to being aligned with my dotted white trace, the target, right? Okay, so let me reset this to zero, and now I'll just show you the polarity. All right, so the polarity switch here is like the polarity switch on the back of your subwoofer, or the polarity switch on the output processing of your DSP channels. So it flips everything on the phase graph by 180 degrees. Okay, so those are the two controls that you have to make changes here. Uh, you've got delay and you have polarity. So let me know what questions you have about this and I'll see you in the next video. Sound design. Yeah.